God the Father, yes, Lord, I believe. Who made the earth and all we see, yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, Lord, I believe. God's only Son, born of Mary, yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father, I believe in God the Son, I believe in the Spirit. And the strength that makes us one I believe that Mother Mary sits with Jesus at God's hand I believe, I do believe Do you believe that Jesus died? Yes, Lord, I believe He died for us so we could live Yes, Lord, I believe Do you believe He rose again? Yes, Lord, I believe He's seated now at God's right hand Yes, Lord, I believe I believe in God the Father I believe in God the Son I believe in the Spirit And the strength that makes us one I believe that Mother Mary sits with Jesus at God's hand I believe I do believe Hello, and welcome to Children's Liturgy for the 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Who is your superhero? Oh, I know some people like Batman and Spider-Man and Superman and all that, but who is your superhero? Well, I like to think that Jesus is my superhero. Have you thought about that? I mean, what do you know about Jesus? You know where he was born. He was born in Bethlehem. We know that he had a mother and a father. We know that when he grew up, he obeyed his mother and his father. It's right in the Bible. And that's where all this information comes from. But think about the other people you admire your father, your mother, your teachers, your aunts and uncles. You know them pretty well because they talk to you, they share their ideas with you. And Jesus tries to talk with you and share his ideas too, but you have to be a very good listener. Let's try today to figure out why Jesus is our superhero. Please bow your heads for this opening prayer. Our response to each short prayer will be, How great is your love, O Lord! Show us your love and we will share it with others. How great is your love, O Lord! Forgive us our sins, and we will forgive the sins of others. How great is your love, O Lord. Overlook our faults, and we will overlook the faults of others. How great is your love, O Lord. Now let's light our candle. In today's first reading, the prophet Ezekiel reminds us of two things. God wants us to be faithful to the very end of our lives. And whenever we are not faithful, God wants us to return to him with sorrow for our sins. A reading from the book of Ezekiel. The Lord says this, People of Israel, you say, the Lord isn't fair, but you are the ones who are wrong. I am fair, and if any of you stop doing right and start sinning, you will die because of your sins. But any of you, if you turn from your sins and start doing right, you will be safe. You won't die because of your sins, 
if you really think about the things you have done wrong and turn from them. Do this and you will go on living. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm today is, Remember your mercies, O Lord. Show me your paths and teach me to follow. Guide me by your truth and instruct me. You keep me safe and I always trust you. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Please, Lord, remember you have always been patient and kind. Forget each wrong I do when I was young, how truly kind you are, and remember me. Remember your mercies, O Lord. You are honest and merciful, and you teach sinners how to follow your path. You lead humble people to do what is right and to stay on your path. Remember your mercies, O Lord. The way we live with each other and care for each other shows how much faith we have in God. St. Paul talks about this in today's second reading. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ encourages you, and his love comforts you. God's Spirit unites you, and you are concerned for others. Now make me completely happy. Live in harmony by showing love for each other. Be united in what you think as if you were only one person. Don't be jealous or proud, but be humble and consider others more important than yourselves. Care about them as much as you care about yourselves. And think the same way that Christ Jesus did. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Ale, 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 Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Ale, 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 luya. Ale, 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 luya. Ale, 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 luya. Ale, luya, ale, luya. In today's gospel, Jesus tells a story about two brothers. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I will tell you a story about a man who had two sons. Then you can tell me what you think. The father went to the older son and said, Go work in the vineyard today. His son told him that he would not do it. But later he changed his mind and went. The man then told his younger son to go work in the vineyard. The boy said he would. But then he didn't go. Which one of the sons obeyed his father? The older one, the chief priests and leaders answered. Then Jesus told them, 
you can be sure that tax collectors and bad women will get into the kingdom of God before you ever will. When John the Baptist showed you how to do right, you would not believe him. But these evil people did believe, and even when you saw what they did, you still would not change your minds and believe. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What did you think? Let, let me just kind of act it out for you again. We'll use these two dolls I have here. There's a little boy and a little girl. And they're playing. They're having fun. And their mother said, time to come in and get washed up for supper. I need you to help set the table. This little girl said, okay, mommy, I'll be right in. And then she looked at her brother and she said, I'm not setting the table tonight. And she went on playing. And the little boy said, but mommy said it was time to come in and wash up and set the table. I don't want to, mommy. But then he said, I'm going. So he went in and he set the table and washed up. And his sister, who said she'd be right in, didn't come until her mother had to come and get her. Does that ever happen at your house? Why do you think, why do you think the little girl said she'd be right in? Maybe she just wanted mommy to think she loved her so much that she would do whatever she told her to do. And then as soon as her mother wasn't watching, she did whatever she wanted to. With a little boy, he didn't want to, but he knew it was the right thing, so he did it. And who really did what their mother wanted them to do? The one who actually went and did it, even though they said they wouldn't. You know, sometimes we think that other people what they think is really important, and so we put on a good show, and we pretend that we're loving and kind and gentle, and we'll do whatever anybody asks us to do, but inside our hearts, and maybe with the people we live with, we are our true selves, and we aren't like that at all. And if that's the way you are sometimes, or if that's the way I am sometimes, then this gospel story is for us. Just like Jesus told the scribes and Pharisees that they would have a hard time getting into heaven because they were teaching the people all the right things to do and oh, you better not break the law and oh, you better do this and you better do that. But they themselves weren't behaving when they weren't in public. Well, the sinners who had a really rough life, they didn't have any money and they made bad choices, they heard John the Baptist when he preached, repent, repent, and so they did. And Jesus said, they will get into heaven first because they had a change of heart and they did what was right. And so we all need to take a look at ourselves because God sees us as we really are. He knows what we're really thinking. He knows what's in our heart. And thank, thank you, God, for being such a loving God because you are always ready to forgive us and you're always waiting with open arms for us to come. And that's why it's important that we remember that Jesus is our superhero because Jesus is the one who teaches us about the Father's love and how to ask for forgiveness. And now we'll have our profession of faith. Please answer, I do. 
to these questions. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, who made you for lives of loving service? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who taught you by word and example how to live? I do. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit, who makes you one with the church and guides you along right paths? I do. Because God has asked that we care about other people besides just ourselves, let us pray for the many needs of our church and the world. Our response to each petition will be, Hear us, O Lord. Guide in your truth the Pope and other leaders of the church, we pray. Hear us, O Lord. Heal the wounds of the injured in all war-torn lands, we pray. Hear us, O Lord. Grant peace and love to the members of our families, we pray. Hear us, O Lord. And now, if you have someone or something you would like to pray for, please do that now. Hear us, O Lord. Heavenly Father, wherever your Holy Spirit dwells, there is happiness and peace. May that same Holy Spirit live in our hearts and shine in our lives that others may see in us how great is your love. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have a great week. Do you believe in God's great church? Yes, Lord, I believe. And all the saints who walked with God, yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in God's forgiveness? Yes, Lord, I believe. That we will rise to life again, yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father, I believe in God the Son, I believe in the Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary sits with Jesus at God's hand. I believe, I do believe. This is our faith which we profess. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary sits with Jesus at God's hand. I believe, I do believe. I believe, I do believe.